Probably no one or nothing more pleasantly surprised with how the storm turned out than our snow monster. The beast of the Northeast has been prowling snow-covered streets all day and all night. Indeed, NBC Connecticut's Matt Austin is live with Snow Monster now in Hartford with a look at the live conditions. Matt. Yeah, so Mike and Keisha, what a difference from just about 12 hours ago. Cloud crew is really doing some quick work, including clearing streets, including right here on Rogers Street. As Rochelle was talking about, a big concern potentially is that icing. Snow Monster's exclusive sensors finding both the air and also the ground temperatures well below freezing. So just be careful because those slick spots could develop overnight. From heavy equipment working to clear parking lots... To a smaller one-man operation, people cleaned up after the storm dumped 13 inches of snow in Hartford. That's five pounds right here, buddy. But it's all good. It's a good workout. I'm 65. <laughs> so it doesn't matter, you know. Keep going. Carlos Cruzado was helping to shovel the sidewalks of his neighbors. Because they're good to me. They've been good to me, you know. So always, whenever I need something, they help me out. Plow crews racing to clear streets. Many finding driving pretty easy by the afternoon. They cleared everything off real good. Um, you know, hasn't been too bad. I'm just, I'm happy we're able to go to the store. It stopped for now, so that's good. In Manchester, some were surprised to see the flakes really pile up. Powder measuring nearly a foot here. I didn't think it was going to be so much. When I woke up outside, I showed my girlfriend. I was on the phone with her. She's down in Georgia, and it was just... It, it just shocked me. I was upset that I had to shovel so much. Some got the day off from school or work. Others who still had to clock in enjoyed the view. Absolutely beautiful. I work from home and I have like a window right in front, so it was a real treat all morning. Yeah, pretty sight out there now. The parking ban here in Hartford was lifted at 6 o'clock tonight. The mayor urging anyone who parked their car in a city or a school lot to move it as soon as possible. Live with Snow Monster in Hartford, Matt Austin, NBC Connecticut News. Keisha, back to you. Matt, thank you. People are also cleaning up along the I-84 corridor. Many of those cities and towns got upwards of a foot of snow as well. NBC Connecticut's Jeremy Chen joining us live in Southington. Jeremy, how's the cleanup going there? Yeah, well, Keisha, right now we're in the Southington Town Green where this area got about 11 inches of snow from this particular storm. And really, it's produced snow that's been very ideal for making snowballs. And as you can imagine, a lot of people had to do hard work to clear those driveways. But for others, it was a day of fun. The sounds of shoveling have been constant in this Plainville neighborhood. This is my third trip out. Started out twice with the snowblower and then this time shoveling to finish up. Neighbors clearing out nearly a foot of snow from the driveways. Good thing we have like our stuff like snowblowers and like shovels ready. So I was all set to go. I got all my, all my warm clothes on. This latest storm dumping snow along the I-84 corridor surprising some. And when we wake up, we say, oh, my God, it's more than before. While the adults worked, <laughs> the kids played with snowball fights raging in the streets. This mother and daughter deciding to take it easy. I'm so glad I don't have to go to work today and we get to have a nice snow day. Others felt it would be the perfect opportunity to sled at Panthorn Park. I felt like I went pretty fast because, like, down there, you just go down there, and there's, there's like a little jump there. For some, it's a reminder of how much snow winter can bring in New England. It's been like super mild, really, lately, so seeing all this coming down, seeing it all pile up is <laughs> a wake-up call to, like, you know, reminding of uh, winter's past. And parents, certainly, while we have not heard of any particular school delays in this part of the state, parents are encouraged to contact their respective school districts if there are any sort of school delays. Live in Southington, Jeremy Chen, NBC Connecticut News. I'll send it back to you in studio.